G'day guys, welcome back to another J2 Exploring video. I'm doing the intro the day before. I'm actually going fishing tomorrow um, down at the Shawncliffe Pier. My, um, I'm going to ride down there with my setup and everything. I'll show you that in a little bit. But I just, uh, the rod, I'm just going to show you the rods that I'm using and like what we're doing. So I'm going to be using my new rod. Oh, I got it not too long ago from BCF. It's still like brand new. Um, but it's the Daiwa Shinobi. Yeah, the Daiwa Shinobi. It's a 6 to 10 kilo, um, 5,000 reel on it. So it's, um, it's kind of my, like, not heavy setup, but heaviest out of all these rods. Yeah, so that's the one rod I've got. Just like this little, um, I won't say, I don't know, it's like, oh, you can't really see it. Here, like this little hook. So it's like that, and then just a sinker up here that's tied down so it doesn't bang and smash my rod. But yeah, so that's a pretty heavy sinker. And I'm just putting that sinker on because with this rod, it's a light rod. And I've just got like a little widening hook and then a little sinker on here for like some brim and stuff. And like just fishing under the pier and right near it. Like the little fish are. And then this, I'm going to cast it out and just let it sit at the bottom. And then see if like any bigger fish can take it. But yeah, so this rod, um, let's see what it is. This is also from BCF. Uh, I've had this. This was like my first ever rod. Oh, no, it wasn't. My first ever good rod. Um, but yeah, so it's just, oh, another Daiwa, Daiwa Shinobi. But yeah, so this is a three to five kilo rod. So it's a super white one, super light one. That one's a six to 12 and this is a three to five. Um, so pretty much yeah so that's just like for brim and little fish under the pit and then that one yeah i'm gonna let it sit but right now i'm gonna show you my setup um because i ride down and i'm gonna show you my setup that i have my bike and that i can put like all this stuff in so let's show you Alrighty, this is gonna be like a little short video because the gopro is at 17 percent and it goes down pretty fast but right now I so this is my setup. I've got my mum's bike. My bike's in there, a mounted bike. It's in there, but you have to get this thing and you have to undo the bolts. But my bike doesn't have that, so we had to put it on my mum's bike. So it's on here. Diesel, where'd you go? Diesel, come here. So I dog, he's just over here. So yeah. So it's joined to that because it won't fit to mine. But yeah, so that's the setup. I've just got this little trailer. It has like a metal tray down the bottom and then cloth that I can carry my stuff in so I don't have to have one rod in my hand and that trying to carry it all. So I can just ride and then have my trailer. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Right now, um, I just got like this little rod holder thing that I'm gonna put at the jetty so I don't have to hold my rod and then I'll just fish with the other one but bungee cords I just put around like put around these so they don't fly out when I'm riding and stuff and if I go over a bump and then this is just like a cloth that uh like um top that like just goes over it and velcros on each side and just like sits over it like that when you velcro it up yeah so I just got my tackle bag in here for now and uh, I've got my esky here which I'll put in tomorrow with bait and ice. I'll probably pick up some worms. But yeah, so that's my setup, which I'm going to be using um, a lot because I can just ride down by myself or when my, ride down with my mate. But yeah, tomorrow I'm going down by myself, just riding down the Shawncliffe Pier, Shawncliffe Jetty, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, so like heavy rod, and then a light rod so um it like the trailer does a job it's um pretty good but yeah so i will catch you guys when i'm riding and then down at the pier so see ya 
and like if you guys like don't know what my bike some of mum's her bike has bolts right they have to undo like with the tool and stuff yeah see bolts but my bike because it's a newer bike it has these little levers that you can use your hand to undo them like you might have to use a tool because they're up tight but it's mostly for your hand so they can come off real easy and that it doesn't sit on that thing it's designed for the bolt which my bike doesn't have that's the front and it's the exact same at the back so it wouldn't have fit on my bike just if any of you guys like we're going to question that's why it wouldn't fit on my bike and i had to put on my mum's bike otherwise i would have put on my bike so yeah that's just why Alrighty, we just made it down here to the water and we got down here at Sean Cliff Pier. We got a good spot. Good spot to myself and we got, I don't know if you can see it, but tons of brim down there in the water. Tons and right near them poles so I can cast it right out there, see if there's anything down there. Um, but yeah, so there's like zero wind. It's perfectly flat, the sun. But yeah, it's it's really really nice should have been out in the boat but dad had to work so just came down here but um we're gonna get the lines in right now and yesterday we went to woogies to get a little something and for like a little challenge i got some anchovies yeah so i got some anchovies and i know they're pretty soft so they're probably just gonna fall straight off my hook as soon as it touches the water and stuff but yeah, they might yeah, just fall off, but if they do, then I'll chum up the water with it and stuff and get all the brim on top. So, let's go fishing. Alrighty, so we got the anchovies here. Let's just open them. Oh, Jesus, there we go. Oh, these things are disgusting. But, the gross thing is, my dad loves these. He loves to eat them and stuff, so there we are. Oh, there's all that juice. But let's chum up the water a little and get them on the hook. Alrighty. So they're not the best at going on the hook, but that's just what we got so far. And this might not be the best thing for you because the sun's right there. And the GoPro and sun, it's not the best. I must just zip my pockets up so nothing falls out. Now we stand up here and then just like give it a little cast out and then give it a sink. I think that it just came off my hook. No. But as you can see, all that brim coming for it straight away. Jeez. Brim, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, look at that. Drop it down here. Down a little bit deeper. There we go. Yeah, so I'll probably just chop up the water with this and get them all here. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna chop up the water and stuff, so let's go. Just change spots from over there under the little shade because there was no bites or anything. Like, um, yeah, there was just nothing out there and brim went biting and yeah, no bites for a pretty long time. And I've just, that sinker that I had on before was just way too heavy. So I just put on um, like two little ones. Yeah, just two little sinkers and then the same hook with some worm and yeah so pretty much just like sitting here and waiting for something to bite really but yeah it's really slow morning and hopefully it gets better by the day goes on and stuff like yeah just sitting the rods here sitting on this little seat and stuff and just just waiting pretty much we got that line out there and then that one here, but 
on the bike and trail here and stuff, but I was going to go out the end and then down that little like path down there, but it, um, there's people down there and stuff and I need to look after this to make sure no one takes anything from it or anything. So, yeah, if they leave and I might be still here, I'll probably park all my stuff and then bring some of it down and like lock my bike up and go fish down there. But right now this is where we're at. And yeah. But yeah, it's been really slow so I'll probably get yeah, anything. Like no bites at all, it's just just dead. So hopefully we get something. Alrighty, so we just Got this little thing on the worms, just sitting, and I was about to get something out from there, and then boom, my rod just went. So, a little brim, uh, we'll get a quick measure on him and then chuck him back. Get it right in the sun, good shot. Boom. Alrighty, just a quick measure, and he's a 26 centimeter. So, let's get him back. Yeah, so not a bad size, but. There you guys. Alrighty, we just move from back onto this, back onto the shady bit. And, uh, oh, I'm getting big bites by some broom down there. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you can see the fish. There's tons of like little bait fish and stuff, and then there's broom underneath it, and they'll come up and try and eat them. It's everywhere, and then you drop it down and you get bite by broom. Yeah, so it's just uh, way too hot out there. Um, so, uh, yeah, just back under here, really, I've only got the one broom, um, all day, so, pretty much, hopefully, hopefully we get a set, oh, there's some big ones right there, I don't know if you can see them, but they're, yeah, there's some big boys down there, yeah, hopefully we just get something, but, yeah, it's pretty boring out here, but in the shade it's nice, so, hopefully we get something. After a while, we finally got a nice little brim again, just on worms. But yeah, it's been for ages. Oh, take it so long and stuff. But oh, finally got him. Alrighty. Oh, I'm sorry I keep missing like the hookups and winding it in, but yeah, so nice brim. Just got some like a little bait fish and stuff. Um, but yeah, so. He's good size. Um, we'll give him a quick measure. Please don't bend my hook. Really don't really want to retie another one. There we go. So he's just a little brim, a little 22 centimeter. But yeah, so let's get a release on him. A little kiss for good luck. There he goes. Ready? Yep, there we go. Good of him. Finally got one on record. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Just on some prawn. Oh, it's been ages since we've caught one. That feels so good to finally catch one. But, yeah. Uh, Nice little yellowfin broom. Where are the yellowfins? Oh, you can't really see them. You can in the sun, but yeah, just get the hook out and I'll get a release. Alrighty, look at that beauty. Oh, you couldn't even see it. Right. Boom. Nice broom. But yeah, so, um, yeah, got some good teeth in there. Brim. Can you see? Yeah. You wouldn't want you to put your finger in that. Oh, uh, maybe, yeah. But yeah, so nice yellow fin brim. Such a pretty fish and they fight real hard. But it looks like this guy's had like a little beef up with some other fish or something. Got like a slit in his tail and stuff and then like a mark here. But yeah, so get a nice release on this beauty. See ya.
There he is. Boom. Alright, he's hooked up to another another small rim. Oh, he's way tiny. Let's get him off the hook and I'll show you. Alrighty, we just got a little baby brim. A little baby. How big is he? He is a little 18 centimetre. Just say, yeah. We'll say about 18. Ah. Wow. Yeah. We'll call him a 18 centimetre. So pretty much all I'm doing under this big shade thing at the Shawncliffe Pit if you come down here. So it's got me rod and little drop it straight under and right near that and then hit hit the bottom, wind it up a little and then just let it sit there. And then you just hold it and then when a fish takes it, you strike up and then you get him. So getting some bites. Again, bites. So, if that reflection on the water down here can't help it. Alrighty, so I just had my rod sitting down and I was about to get some of my lunch and then my rod nearly went over. I just caught it in time. I haven't seen what it is yet, but. Uh, yeah. Another brim. Oh. Ugh. Come here. Jesus. Oh, still got me worm as well. Look at that. Me worms up here and me hooks down here. So, I can still be used. This is all I have left out of my bait. So, after that, I have to go home. But, let's get him unhooked. Jeez, he was just on there as well. Yeah, so I don't know. Oh, there you can see it. Some um, that's why they're called yellow, yellow fin brim. Yeah, so nice colours and stuff. Just like a little black edge on the black edge tail. Spikes up here. I've been thorn by like spiked by these many a times and stuff. And this one down here. These two. And then the ones on here, they just always get me and stuff, but, you know, but yeah, so, look at that in the mouth. You can see little teeth at the front, but yeah, so, we'll cast him over here. There he goes. Alrighty, I'm going to end the video here. Um, it's been a pretty fun day, you know, it was pretty slow in the morning and stuff, but as it got like um later in the day um the fish started to bite a bit more but yeah so i ended up with a couple of brims not too many um but yeah that's pretty much all we caught today well yeah that's all we caught um but yeah so if you like this video like like subscribe and stuff um but yeah so i live in brisbane and i only had like go to shawncliffe jetty and um baxter's jetty so if you know where they are, that's like my two main places where I go and stuff. Um, but yeah, so leave your comments down below where I can ride my bike to, because I have my trailer and stuff. So where I can ride to places in Brisbane and like spots that you like to go fishing and sp um, places where you always catch lots of fish and like good fish and stuff. Um, yeah, and tell me if you like use bait or lures and then I'll try and get to some of them um, places and like um, make a video about it but yeah so just drop some drop some ideas in the um, like comments and also drop some ideas on videos that you want me to make because I've pretty much just been making the same thing about like fishing and that's like like um, yeah like pretty much all I've been doing so drop some um, video idea comments down below um, in the comments and I'll try and do them. So see ya.